As the calculus student approached the last question on his examination, he saw an unfamiliar integral. The integral was 1 over x squared minus 4, but had a lower bound of 1 and an upper bound of infinity. The student was gobsmacked, but vowed to overcome such a challenge. He began integrating and found the antiderivative, but the bounds remained a problem. The student then thought back to Calculus 1 and remembered a concept he despised, limits. As the student substituted the upper bound for t as t approaches infinity, he then computed the definite integral using limits, using the fundamental theorem of Calculus Part 1 for the upper bound and Part 2 for the lower bound. He then found the area under the curve to be a real number and asked, the integral is your area finite because you converge, or do you converge because your area is finite? The student laughed and thought he defeated the final boss with time to spare but didn't know one key thing. There was a singularity within the integrand. 